do you think we we come in with a plan or do you think it's all random well i think we wake up every day with a plan and the plan is written by what we did the day before and the day before that and the day before that no and but i mean the big steps like the romantic person you're going to fall in love with the children you have the um the big steps the the person you yeah well, the big it's very step. important in your life. They come along and they like help yeah. you. They just like sometimes like an angel has just appeared, you know, and they just they just help you randomly. But it's huge to you, you know. Do you think those things are, um, are agreed upon before we come in, or do you think it's not like that at all? No, it, it, the big steps mirror the the uh, small steps. The small steps mirror the big steps. So, so there's you know, no pre-plan. There's no pre-plan before no, you come in. No, no, no. It's not pre-planned at all. I mean, I mean, you, in, I mean, look at it this way: if you if you want to be, you know, if you have a say a five-year plan, say you own a business and you have a five-year plan, huh. then you are predetermining where you're going to be in five years if you carry if you follow through with your plan. You see, you decide now for a, an eventual outcome well that's yeah. the same as the soul does only in terms of lifetimes not in terms of years so there's yes. a, there's a fractal equivalence there there's a you know it's the same yeah. on different scales at different scales so do you believe in um do you believe that we um so you believe that we have lifetimes that the same mm -hmm. that one soul has lots of lifetimes and um, like with my mother, um, I had a lifetime with her that ended quite badly. And so this, in this lifetime, I had to forgive her. And, um, and it, it took till, till she was 80 for, for me to, although I, I was her carer, I did everything for her, but she still played the part of the lifetime before but it was my job to forgive her. And when I did, it was magical, magical, amazing. Did, is that just an accident or did we have that lifetime and did we come back together to resolve it? Yeah. Can I say something here? Yes, please. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, sorry, but this is uh, my favorite topic. I've been studying this for a very long time. Okay. And this comes from Steiner's teachings. I am a Steiner's student. So so he talks about uh, life being, um, so this lifetime is actually a byproduct of our last life. And it's going to be the seed of our next life. So what I do today, all my wishes, my desires, or uh, everything that I'm studying is not for this lifetime. It, I'm preparing myself for my next life. Yeah. And what I am doing now, the preparation was done in my last life. So everything unresolved, you know, like, uh, like if I'm envious or if I am judgmental about somebody, I will have to come back and play the, the role reversal has to happen, you know. Yes. Yeah. So if you see how Steiner talks about life and death, it is, it's not like a chapter closed. It is, it is act one and scene one, yeah. and then there's continuation. So everyone who is a part of your immediate family, you have had a pact with them. You wanted them to be there, and also your there is a destiny, like you know a mango seed will grow into a mango tree. It has the map already there to grow. So you, for this lifetime, you are carrying your map. Mm -hmm. How you reach it is again your choices, but eventually you're going to reach there where you destined to reach. Okay, mm -hmm. unless you create new karma. So yeah. if it is just a resolution of karma and you don't create new karma, then you will reach where you're supposed to reach. But the beauty is we create karma every day with our thoughts, with our actions, with our feelings. And that's why you see we have, you just can't reach where we reach where you were destined to. You have to take all these small, small by lanes and then, you know, all these wrong decisions and 
failed relationships and dropping out of colleges and courses and then eventually you get there yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah, you have to cool. believe that every encounter like me meeting michael just didn't happen it was destined i was supposed to meet michael i was supposed to you know attend these sessions and that's why it's no fluke it's an agreement yeah yeah, yeah. You know, that that's a you know a lot of that is like as though you're a musician and you're walking through the streets and they're all other all these other groups of musicians playing songs and you just naturally gravitate to people who are playing your tune or that you can join in with them you see it's not so personal it's it's just what it's where you fit in right yeah yeah it's where you energetically um are a match yeah exactly mm -hmm. yeah and and it's why you know people who are not a match there's such discord there's such dissonance you know mm. and you get argument your arguments and and wars you know it's like oh my gosh yes and, mm. you know, when somebody looks at you and they say you're just wrong it's <laughs> <You know? laughs> so what they're saying you're wrong your, your frequency does not match mine at all you know so wisdom then says okay let's either yeah. find a mediator to help us work it out or just not talk to each other just you go away i'll go away and then you know <laughs> then we'll yeah. be, be okay right making these major changes in our life you know like pre-planning that's major work you know that's that's real reconstruction it's like you're on a train you can't you know you're you're on a train you're even drive. you're the conductor you're driving the train and you see a beautiful uh a valley off to your left. Well, you can't just turn the train and go that way, right? You have to, you have to, you have to get out and build new tracks. That's major work, and that's where religion and ritual, is, scratch religion, just ritual. We we create our rituals as a means to lay new tracks. You see, this is real important. Yes. 